Hi guys, Pete Esterbrook here. So today we're going to go over how to lap a valve <clears throat> and I'm going to do just a valve oil lapping. So reasons that we might not might need to do something like this. Uh, the horn is new, um, a slide has gotten pushed in and by the way it's really a good idea to be careful when you're storing a horn in your case that that you check that you're not compressing the horn too much. Never set the horn down like this. You don't want to compress this slide into the valve casing. That's one reason that you might need to lap a valve. Um, there could be a burr in there. There could be uh, some other thing that's worked its way in. So uh, there are three different ways or substances that you can use to lap a valve. Um, so you'll see I'm, I'm going to work on the second valve here. I'm removing the bottom valve cap. I'm removing the valve itself, okay. The three things that I would use to lap a valve would, the first thing would be valve oil and really just work on that. Um, so apply some valve oil to the valve. Okay, then you wanna insert it upside down. See how I'm inserting it upside down and then you're gonna just sit for a while and move that valve in and out of the bottom of the casing while twisting like this, this twisting motion. And you may see some dark junk come up on the valve. If it does, you can wipe the valve with your hand or a lint-free cloth, re-oil and do it. Sometimes you might wanna put on a, a tune or watch Netflix or something like that while you do this for a good solid five minutes. The thing is, if you get that valve working really well, the other two may feel uneven in relation to it. So you may wind up actually needing to do this on all three valves. You can see there's a little stick point near the, the end there. So the bottom of that valve casing needs a little work. Okay, and then, and then I would probably uh, wipe the valve down um, and also wipe the case, the inside of the casing down or clean it really well before re-oiling and, and, um, and then putting the valve in normally. Um, there's three things. I would do that. Uh, you can do that more than once. I, the other thing that I've done with some horns is I've used pearl drops to lap a valve. That's something that you probably don't want to do too many times during the life of a valve, but it gives a light scratching. And the third thing is that you can use something like an actual lapping compound. That gets kind of messy. Uh, that'll tend to get in, in the horn and you really need to uh, clean it thoroughly or take it to a repair shop to do a lapping in most cases. It's going to involve having to degrease the inside of the horn to really get that lapping compound out. And that's something that you probably will only do once in the life of a horn. And that would be an extreme case. But it's safe to do the, the valve oil lapping um, a few times during the life of a horn if something happens. So that's how you go about doing it. And I just wanted to get that down for students because sometimes they're confused when I say insert the valve upside down. Take care.